So I actually originally bought a black classic Moleskine bullet journal, but I actually changed it to look like this color, this light blue, and I used this adhesive sticker roll as you guys can see. I mean, it's pretty big. It's not really like a regular size sticker. It's it's pretty ginormous. I now have a light blue journal instead of a black one and on top of that I realized that if I get a stain on this one for whatever reason, I accidentally drop ink on it or something happens, I can always just remove the sticker and just add on another one which I think is a really cool thing. Okay, so let's get started with the journal. So as you can see on the first page, that's where you put your name. So I just put my name in this cute little fancy font and just added some extra effects. And then also I just put that if anyone found my journal, I would give them a million dollars, which obviously is not going to happen. But I guess if I happen to ever lose my journal, it would be pretty funny if someone picked that up and for a second actually believed that that was real. So moving on to the next page, that's where I put my key. I just based it off of what most people use for their keys and just modified it a little bit to more of what I'm used to. Just a key so that I can know what my symbols stand for. So this cover page was actually inspired from Instagram. I saw this diamond design 2020 and I thought it was really cool. So I decided to go for it and put it in my journal. So anybody who inspired me from Instagram will be linked in the description box. And overall, I'm not really going to be keeping a specific theme just because I want to experiment a lot since I'm really new to lettering and doodling and all of that kind of stuff. And I just want to learn more and try different styles this year and just see what I'm more into and what's more natural to me and which styles I prefer. So I'm going to be using this bullet journal just more of practice for lettering and doodling and drawing. And hopefully as the year goes on, I'll get more and more of what my style is and then eventually figure out what my themes are. So that's kind of where I'm coming from, but my first step is just to even learn and really get good at lettering and doodling and all of those things. And I also added this special effect to the hello so that it just looked more fancy. So the next page is this quote from Kiki's Delivery Service, which is one of my favorite films of all time. And also I just overall in general love Studio Ghibli. So if you guys watch Studio Ghibli films, just comment below and I will happily respond. I ended up filling it with hearts and it took a while, but I think it was worth it. And overall what I'm going for with this bullet journal is just for it to be one place where I can have everything organized and also a place where I can just practice my lettering and write down my thoughts and and just use it as a method for relaxing 30 days a minute. 30 minutes a day, I'm sorry. 30 days a minute, what did I just say? I've noticed that when I'm making more pretty notes that I actually get really focused, which is really interesting because I used to just take pretty ugly notes and not really try very hard. And I've noticed that it helps me just calm down and get more focused on what I'm learning and doing. So I think that having 30 minutes a day of <laughs> bullet journaling or or drawing something or writing down my thoughts is a great idea just to implement into my night routine and just have something that I can do to calm down and de-stress and process my day. 
So this next page was partially inspired by the fact that I did get a wax sealing kit for Christmas, which I'm super excited about. My Harry Potter loving heart is just overwhelmed because every time I think of a wax seal, I think of Harry Potter and also of my broken heart when I was 11 and realized I wasn't going to Hogwarts. That was pretty sad, but that's another story. Overall, I'm super excited about this wax sealing set and I cannot wait to send everybody I know letters with a stamp. Partially is an excuse of just, I like making them. So I decided to write, and I know this is going to sound really cheesy, but I decided to write myself a letter for my future self to read a year from now. And it kind of ties in into the overall theme that this bullet journal will be for me at least, which is about happy self-love and just improving myself not out of me not being happy with how I am currently but just out of love for myself and wanting to then consequently improve because when we love something then we try to take care of it so that's kind of how I approach myself But yeah, so it may sound really cheesy, but this past year I did learn a lot about learning to love myself and be my own best friend. And this is sort of a tradition I'd like to start where I write my future self a year from that day a letter and then I'll open it a year later. Hopefully I'll actually forget what I wrote in it so it's more of like a surprise, but I'm not really sure if I will remember or not, so we'll see. But yeah, so I just made a cute little fancy letter. Here is my letter which was written by a glass pen and is being sealed by a traditional wax seal stamp. You can tell I really love myself, can't you? But yeah, so this is one of the spreads of my journal and, and the rest of the page isn't too complicated, but the actual wax seal part, I had to try three times, I'm not gonna lie. The first attempt, I put too little wax. The second attempt, I put on enough wax, but then I realized that I put it on an envelope that wasn't with the card in it, so that was kind of a fail. I managed to seal the envelope without anything in it, so yeah. And then the third one finally worked out great, and I more or less figured out how to do it, so practice makes perfect, just like with everything else. I made sure the third time that I actually put the card in the envelope before I sealed it, so that was improvement. Then the next page is a gratitude page and also again ties into the whole happiness, self-love thing. I realized that the more I've focused on good things in my life and things I'm grateful for and even just little things like things I enjoy, so walking outside or journaling or even learning new things, the more I feel grateful and focus on the things that make me happy, the happier I become, the calmer I become, and then the more productive I am, the more things I get done, and then the more things I have to be grateful for. So this is kind of the cycle that I've been going through, and it's something that I'd like to continue building on throughout the next year. Being in a good mood and focused and calm and productive, so this gratitude page is just going to be for highlights of each month. But in general, I also want to have gratitude pages for each week and each month so that I keep focusing on what I'm grateful for and just being a happy person. So it's great that I now have a bullet journal to put all of that in. So moving on to the next page is my goals page. And I only have six main goals this year because A, I've realized that having less goals actually usually increases my chance of achieving them rather than having a lot of goals and then not achieving any of them. And these are more of like the minimums that I would really like to see from myself this year rather than some really 
crazy out of this world goals, but I really just want to see some pretty significant improvement in these areas of my life. And I didn't include areas that I already feel really comfortable with, like studying, exercising, things like that. But all of these goals I purposely chose because I know that they'll make me more happy and healthy. So these are by far the most important goals for me that I would really want to achieve this year. So this next page is my books page and I've really gotten so much back into reading recently which I'm so happy about because I used to be the person who would read all the time, especially in elementary school and middle school and even early high school and then after I'd say around freshman year it just dipped lower and lower to the point where I did not want to read anymore at all pretty much. And I actually used to even be really into reading classic books, especially when I was like 13, 14, and then everything just went downhill as I got more stressed and school and everything. But now I've been trying to structure reading back into my life and it's really been a great thing because I'm falling back in love with reading again and especially even reading more intellectual, deeper, or classic books, which I avoided like the plague for a pretty long while because I just did not want to read. So I'm very happy with that development and I just would like to read. I'm aiming for a minimum of 10 but I don't really know if I'll reach that goal. Honestly for me the most important thing is that I get the quality rather than the quantity so even if I read only six books this year for instance but, but I feel like I really deeply read them and understood them and thought about them and just connected with them, then that's the most important thing for me. So the next book I'm going to be reading is A Wild Sheep Chase by Haruki Murakami, but if you guys have any other book suggestions, I'm trying to go for more deeper modern books or classic books. And then I will just write at the bottom once the year is over which books were my favorite and what I thought about them, etc. So this next page is just specific for YouTube and I pretty much left it blank because it will just be a list of the videos that I published this year. So this is going to just be a tracker of which videos I uploaded. And finally, this page is the calendar page, and I'm so happy with how it turned out because in the beginning, I got so upset because I thought I ruined it. I made a huge mistake with February. I completely messed up the dates because I was looking at my iPhone and it was starting on a Sunday instead of a Monday and I just visually did not shift it. So then all of the dates got messed up, so that was not fun. But then I realized that I could actually cover up them with sticky notes so I measured out sticky notes of different colors and covered up the two mistakes and then put them for the rest of the page and I think it turned out really well honestly I'm actually happy I made the initial mistake I liked how this end result turned out a lot more so yeah mistakes can be good sometimes another deep thought and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time bye